cover the complete history of Black Ops's most iconic map, Nuketown. There are some things later in this video that I didn't even know. So let's dive in. Okay, here we are, a complete breakdown of every single Nuketown. This video is done by Replay Mode. Awesome video. I'm gonna put his stuff down in the description. So make sure you subscribe to him. I love, Let's start I love off with Town. the OG. Two letters that here stand for original game, Black Ops 1. Taking place in the 1960s, this first Nuketown is set in the Nevada desert. With I love this Nuketown, by the way. I I'd love to rank Nuketown to some point on my channel. You have to let me know down in the comments. I feel like Black Ops 1 might be my favorite overall nuke. The US military are conducting an off the books operation, seeing what would happen if they nuked the hell out of a neighborhood. And I'll give you three guesses as to what happens next. Strutting your way around this classic takes you back to a simpler time. One where there was only one kind of sprint, sliding was for those with strict nat types, and all of your neighbors were Mannequin. I mean, come on. Listen, I do agree with the one type of sprint. I'm starting to kind of get over the 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 slide cancel um tax sprint meta that's been the last couple CODs since MW19. When I go back and play the old CODs and it's just that standard run, I do kind of miss it. But obviously with Black Ops 6, that's not going away and it probably won't go away anytime soon. But I do say I miss it. I do miss it. Now everybody knows about the layout. But for those of you out there who somehow haven't played this map upwards of 3,624 I mean, times or are literal you babies, played Nuke Town, what are you try doing? to sum it up as quickly as possible. Okay. <clears throat> the map is the size of a cul-de-sac with two houses acting as each team's main base. They have backyards that are perfect for spawn traps and interiors with upstairs windows as power positions. There's also a bus and another large truck in the middle breaking up the flow and creating small circular flanking routes. Oh, and uh... Goo goo gaga. <laughs> Every okay, he nailed it. First of all, I always think about Nuketown from the, the the back spawn locations. I feel like the spawn system is different now in, in all these other CODs. But Black Ops 1 spawn system, I felt like there was only two places that they were going. Back fence and back fence. And you could just sit there and spawn trap the living crap out of these people. It was an amazing time if you if you didn't get that. Single Nuketown follows the same layout with very few variations. Kind of like the national anthem at the Super Bowl, where each game the artist likes to put their own slight spin on things, which your older relatives will complain about. But let's be honest, the national anthem already kind of sucks anyway, doesn't it? Nuketown is also known for its mannequin Easter eggs, where if you Ooh. shoot all their heads off in a certain amount of time. Pause before he goes over this. Did, how many of these did you know existed? And did you do the Easter eggs back in the day? I'm gonna I'm gonna say before we go into all these, I would say either Black Ops 3 would be my favorite mannequin one, uh, with them chasing you, or probably Black Ops 1 with the uh with the Rolling Stones. Um Yeah. Quote cool stuff happens like in bo3 they come alive that, chasing you down that's so in good in bo2 it unlocks arcade Mid. games that you can play Mid. on the nuketown side Mid. and in cold war this one was pretty cool cataracts but this very first nuketown's easter egg is by far the best rolling stones See, baby when you shoot all of the heads gonna get me demonetized here, a song will play oh come on Ops, come on I was trying to get fired up. All right, that was a good one. That was a good one. Two brings Nuketown into the future, or at least what people in the 60s thought. <sighs> Sorry, I keep pausing, but Nuketown 2025 set in the future. And all of a sudden something, and all of a sudden it's 2025 in real life in a couple months. And this is no longer in the future. I'm just, for a second, I want you to think about when Nuketown 2025 is a thing of the past. When we hit 2026, I don't want to think about it, actually. Don't don't remind me. What the future would be like, where school buses have fins, TVs are oval, and this haircut <laughs> never goes out of style. It's also pretty damn bright. I thought the future was supposed to be black, damn it. This Nuketown plays pretty much exactly the same as the last one. Fast paced and Except for track, Target Finder LMGs. is also how they all play. The RCXD path that I forgot to mention in the Black Ops 1 version because <laughs> it's so seldom used yeah, is back. True. And it also doesn't really ever get used. 
So remember back when this game came out and the year 2025 was like unfathomable? Yeah. Just so many don't, years into the future don't do that this to most me. people, including my 15 year old self, didn't think they'd actually see it because the concept of time moving forward was as foreign a concept as deodorant and a nine to five job. <laughs> well, take a look at your calendars, folks. No! The future is now. But you know, this isn't looking all that accurate to real life. Oh, there we go. Now it's perfect. Oh, no. Come on, man. Dude, I, I will say Black Ops 2 Nuketown was really, really good. And I think the one bad memory I have of that is Target Finder LMG sitting on the side, the right sides and just aiming down sight in spawn. I mean, my gosh, was that annoying. But other than that, it was it was pretty good Nuketown. Two also introduced Nuketown Zombie. I always forget exactly about this Nuketown. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, uh, there's zombies now. Perks drop from the sky every few rounds or so, which is this map's funny little gimmick, like Darius's teleporter, Mob of the Dead's afterlife system, and Modern Warfare Zombies expiration date. Nuketown Zombies perfectly encapsulates what makes Nuketown Nuketown. It's simple, fun, and for some reason, always a DLC or pre-order <laughs> bonus. Welcome did to you, Nook. Did you guys play Nuketown Zombies? I don't remember. I think I played it one time. I was, I was on transit. I don't remember ever playing that map. I guess maybe because it was pre-order and, and some of my friends didn't pre-order back in the day. So we just never, they maybe, they maybe never got it. I don't know. Three Town. By far the this most high tech and is futuristic clean, Nuketown to date. Now, I think this one is set in a dream sequence like most of the Black Ops 3 campaign, but honestly, I can't remember anything about the story of this game, so I'm just gonna run with <laughs> I, that if you don't mind. You guys it's know I tried to stream it. Streamlined. I, I, I made it one stream. These are all words that mean the same thing. Those signature yellow and green houses have now been replaced with orange and blue. Bocce Ball is now a working shuffleboard court. And the walls are. Holy around the crap, I never knew that. Okay, listen, mind blown. I did not know that they had a working game in the back of the spawn. L listen, guys, you learn something new every day. I don't know if how that applies to your life in the current time, but hey, if you want to have some fun, go play that in, in Black Ops 3. Map are now tall. I never knew accommodate that. Accommodate the jetpack and wall running mechanics of this game specifically, adding brand new ways of this getting clotheslined lined on your way out of spawn. The RCXD path has even been updated. Wait, no, no. It's gone. It's gone. You monsters! No, they can Field wall run. Take on Nuketown, passionately. Okay, so we're back on real quickly before last last comment on Black Ops Three. I feel like for for the game itself, they did a really really good job of keeping it like it felt like Nuketown, even though there was jetpacks and faster movement. They made the the map a little bigger and the wall running kind of. It still felt like a high-paced action map. I, I thought they did a great job. Black Ops 3 Nuketown uh, might be my top. I know I just said Black Ops 1, but I can tell you which one isn't my favorite. It's the one we're looking at right now. ...named Nuketown now takes place in the USSR and is covered in a thick layer of God's Dandruff. This one's the biggest departure visually. <laughs> we said the God's houses Dandruff? ...as mere fronts for Soviet spies putting together a super secret plot to uh man honestly i don't know where this game is supposed to take place either this <laughs> no, is probably nobody my gets least black ops 4 either town of the bunch not for any particular reason other than black ops 4 just in general felt more like a fever dream than an actual real video game yeah they did I actually agree. make history though by having not one not two but three different iterations of Nuketown in this one game. They did. Nuketown okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He missed the he missed the the RC car thing, which I know he he hasn't been really covering that in these except for like the Black Ops 2 one, but in this Nuketown Black Ops 4, the coolest thing about this one was that you could go do the RC car route and the RC car route took you through a nuke bunker and you like saw the nuke in the distance um I'll try to have the editor flash it up here real quick, but it was actually a really cool addition. And I also thought that the, the mannequin was pretty cool. I think the, the nuke went up and then the, the, the mannequin zombies came down from the nuke and like chased you. 
I don't like th that nuke town, but I will say the Easter eggs on it were probably one of the best. Island is the second. Oh, dude, I place miss Blackout. Blackout. Where they, oh. well, gave Nuketown its own island. This, see, this, this honestly makes sense for Nuketown. Or it blew up. Over the years. Taking place after the nuke, or some other big boom doom has gone off, this one is completely destroyed. And that includes the oh, barriers. Man. So now you can visit other houses. <laughs> wow, you know, this isn't nearly <laughs> as interesting as I would have thought. <laughs> this is also your periodic That's reminder good, that for some reason, I miss, Blackout specifically I miss Blackout. looked like an art school for the blinds art class on Pottery Day. But what Nuketown Island lacks on the surface, it underneath, up baby. For underground, where the fallout bunker is now freely accessible to Dude. all. Wow, this place has curtains and a barbecue with zero ventilation? Why would I ever <laughs> want to leave and take my chances on the surface? But Black Ops 4 Dude. isn't done yet. I miss Blackout so much. I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion for some of you guys out there. I really think I, as time has gone by, I think Blackout was a better BR than Warzone. It just didn't get updated and it wasn't free to play and it wasn't cross play. Like if it would have checked those boxes, I still think we would have been playing that game today. Plus Blackout map. I don't care what y'all say. It's the best BR map maybe of all time. I said what I said. Because in Zombies that year, oh, I forgot Alpha it. Omega I just, was released. I totally forgot about this players too. players into the familiar, yet now darker neighborhood that's plagued Minecraft servers and paintball facilities everywhere for the last <laughs> decade. And it's exactly the same yep. as the other Nuketown Zombies, uh, but I more totally cluttered forgot and laser about guns. And it's like way bigger. So uh, not at all exactly this. Why did I say that? it also features those same underground tunnels from Nuketown Island though, that I constantly get lost in, despite the fact that there are signs telling me where to go. I'm like your dad who insists that he knows better than the GPS, but is at most three wrong turns from a nervous breakdown in a McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> then there's the Nuketown on Cod hey, Mobile. Hey, he covered Cod really Mobile! Stop Ops yelling at me! Again, but it's somehow better looking, right? I guess it's true what they say. Modern phones are more powerful than what NASA used that to live tweet the moon really landing. Good. Now, I've never played Cod Mobile before making this tour. And, uh, are the players always this bad? Hey, I mean, hey, like listen, I didn't say it. I know all y'all want me to play Cod Mobile. I don't know. Seems like there's a lot of bad players on there. Are you guys the ones in the comments saying play COD Mobile? Are you, do you look like that guy that he just was getting shot at? I just started Come on running now? laps back and forth to try to see how many times I could go from backyard to backyard without dying. And I'm the MVP. Then this is where I was gonna end the COD Mobile section, but it turns out there's way more to the Nuketown Iceberg than I thought on this little casino really? for kids app. Like, have y'all ever seen this one for the Lunar New Year oh, wow. set in a futuristic, quote, city called Nuketown Temple? That looks And another amazing. one for the Year of the Dragon, which is a nighttime Nuk 3 town, but with a totally real dragon? Oh, and there's also Nuketown Russia here, too. Great. There's even Warzone's Gulag, which I is mean, actually... I mean, COD Mobile? Can you still play that? Okay, maybe, listen, maybe you guys are on something. I don't know. Now we got to go to Warzone. Holy crap, I forgot about in this. In town for a couple of seasons a few years back. But it was only the middle section and was made out of somehow even cheaper plywood. And similarly, there's Nuke House. From the mostly wow. unknown Black Ops Declassified we on just, the Vita. We just covered this. the only Black Ops game to actually live up to its title. Now, I'm not lucky enough to be in the middle of the Venn diagram of 12 people who bought this game and seven <laughs> people who bought a PS Vita. So I can't say that I have any firsthand experience with it, but it looks like if the original oh, Nuketown man. was run through a face smoothing filter on Snapchat and also lost a few tons because now it's just the yellow, AKA best side. Hashtag yellow house gang for life. Wait, and there's lastly, only there's only one side on that? Cold War. Returning to the OG's old Is there anything better rounds, than the Cold War theme? Now updated and looking a little bit less decimated and more decayed, covered in graffiti and vandalism that you'd only see from little shit kids living in the middle of a desert and walking around these hollowed grounds. I can't help but feel Nuketown as a concept 
is a pretty damn good metaphor for the franchise that it's home to. Each iteration, like a mile marker, or maybe a time capsule for the series, yeah. showing just what state the franchise was in at the time that each was crafted. Black Ops 1's Nuketown was fresh, with an interesting setting, and it was really I'm only the third so good. tiny map in COD after Shipment and Rust, so that map type wasn't oversaturated quite yet. Then Black Ops 2 dropped it into the future, another fresh take, both the same core gameplay that everybody loved. Yeah. Black Ops 3 was another one set in the future, displaying the series' stagnation starting to form, which was indicative of the entire jetpack era. Then Black Ops 4 is a game that just didn't know what it wanted to be. And that's shown by all three modes having their own nuke town. He's, like they're just he's trying to cover it. their bases in any way that they can. And then Fun fact, Black Ops 4 didn't know what it wanted to be. If you don't if you don't listen to the podcast, the Going Dark podcast, we've talked about Black Ops 4. That game was supposed to have jetpacks. Uh, if you didn't know that. So the, all the maps got reworked to not have jetpacks and it was supposed to be like the Black Ops 3 again, but um yeah, that obviously changed very quickly. So yeah, maybe they didn't know what they wanted. Or maybe they did know what they wanted, but they were forced to do something else. And lastly, is Cold Wars, which was I actually like Cold Wars, and Town. destroyed. And I'll let you figure out what that one means. I actually really like the Cold War one, to be honest. And that's where I'll end today's tour. Hey. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your patience. Hey. I promise. That is a fantastic video. Shout out to Replay Mode. Um, great content. I love watching his like tours of Nuketown and other COD maps. So check him out. Um, guys, Black Ops 6, what do we think? What Nuketown, what's it going to look like? Is it going to look like more of the OG? Is it going to be its own brand new style? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. If you like this type of video, me reacting to some classic COD and just kind of COD in general, please let me know because I'd love to do more of this. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next one.